Hi guys, let's try this again. Uh, this is Jennifer Pelfini, your Pamper Chef Independent Consultant, and I'm just going to go live today to talk to you about the holidays. And let's talk about getting holiday ready. Okay, let me just get this lined up a little bit and then we're good to go. Um, I went live a few minutes ago when I deleted it because we had like milk spill and the toddler was screaming. Someone said, why don't you ever go live um, with your family in the background? That's why, you guys. Okay. So let's see if anyone's here. And there we go. Okay, so let's get going. Um, okay, so what I wanted to talk about today were um, some things that you can do for the holidays and offer as gifts that are really easy and also some things that will be really super handy in your kitchen. Um, let me just go fix this one more time. I have like this weird notice up I need to clear. Notifications, I forgot to clear my notifications. Just going a little bit further back. So weird, I have this all lined up. Okay. Um, so what we're going to talk about is some things that um, I use in my kitchen that are super handy for the holidays, and I think they'll be handy in your kitchen as well. Let's see if we have anybody here. I don't think we have anybody here, actually, so we should be good to go. I'll just wait another minute, see if anybody else is joining, and then we'll get started. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to talk about today um, are uh, some of the products that I really love in my kitchen that are really going to be super handy for you on the holidays. So some of those products are just uh, out um, and some of them are going to be in our catalog, but I'm mostly going to talk about the stuff that's out today because that's the stuff that I actually have. And I always like to provide people a perspective of what I have so you can see if it's going to work for you. So first of all, we have our what we have right here in front of me is our pastry mat. And our pastry mat um, is fantastic, you guys. This is going to make all your pies, um, whether it's your pizza pies, your, um, your baking pies, anything you're doing with a crust or anything you need to bake your breads, um, really shape really well because it gives you all these different sizes that you can, that you can map what you're doing. Um, and also, it's a, it's a silicone mat. So it folds up really nice and it cleans up really nice too. So you can just store it away when you're done. Um, and along with that, I recommend the Baker's Roller. The Baker's Roller is a fantastic product for a couple of reasons. One is that it has double sides. So it, um, it, it's great for rolling out stuff that you need a wider, um, a wider area to roll. And then also for details on the side. Um, and on this side, I see it's missing here for me because uh, my daughter must have took it off. But it also has a scraper so you can scrape some stuff off. Um, of the Baker's Roller really easily. So Baker's Roller and Pastry Mat, two things that work really, really well together. And along with that, I would also say our powdered sugar shaker. So I would say our powdered sugar shaker is very multi-purpose. Um, put your cocoa in here, put your flour in here when you're using your pastry mat um, or your cornmeal or whatever it is that you're using. And this is a really handy tool in the kitchen. So those are the three things that I really think um, really go together really, um, really well. Um, for your, um, your rolling out things that you want to roll out. And again, like I said, this just doesn't go for baking. You can also use them for um, your pizza, which is really great. I used it for my pizza the other day, and it um, really gave me a nice, even-sized pizza. And sometimes you think you're making a circle, but you're really not making a circle. So it helps with that a lot. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Okay, so let's talk about um, measuring. There's so many different ways that you can measure with Pamper Chef, and we have a lot of different tools. Here are some of the ones that I have in my kitchen. Um, one is the adjustable measuring spoons. There's a tablespoon and a teaspoon. And they're super um, easy to use. They just kind of slide along with the different amount that you need to measure. And they're easy to clean because this part here pops off. So you can get into the entire spoon, which this would be a teaspoon. And it goes everywhere, anywhere from one teaspoon, one teaspoon to an eighth of a teaspoon. So you get perfect measurement every time, and it blocks off the amount, um, which makes it really easy, and it alleviates 
all those jangling spoons you have in your drawer down to two, which I love that. Um, things that save space always um, make me happy. So um, on our measuring notes, um, two other products that I really love for our measuring. I only have one of them here, but one is our prep bowls. This is our one prep or one cup prep bowls, but we have one cup, two cup, and three cup prep bowls. They come with lids, so when you're going to prepare your Christmas and your Thanksgiving meals, um, your Hanukkah meals, and you want to make things the night before, these are really great because you put your food in them, put a top on them, and they're absolutely perfect because you can also stack them in your fridge. Um, and they have measurements on them that go to the full amount of the cup, and then down to three-fourths, one-half, and one-fourth in each of them, um, whatever the measurements are. Uh, maybe in the two cup and the, and the three cup. Okay, so that's another great way to measure. Another great, great, great way to measure um, are with our um, adjustable measuring cups. I have two here. This is the two cup and the one cup, and there's also a mini cup. Um, so this is a, set, is a set of three if you wanted to get the three of them. And what's great about these is they're dual purpose. So dual purpose meaning that one side is great for liquids and one side is great for solids. Um, and then also, like, if you have that in-between stuff, like if you're going to make um, deviled eggs and you have mayonnaise or you have peanut butter you want to put in, these also operate as pushing up to get to get the materials out. I'm not going to do that now because I actually have uh, contents in here for something I'm going to make in a little bit. So you just kind of, you just, you would just push them up and the stuff just pops out. So you have really no waste, okay? Adjustable measuring cups. Love, love, love these. Um, okay, other things to measure with. Um, another thing to measure with are our batter bowls. We have two size batter bowls. Our batter bowls, this is our classic batter bowl, um, call it the large batter bowl. It fits up to eight cups of material of um, content in it or 64 ounces and it gives you the milliliter and the liter measurements on the other side. So they're dual purpose for that as well. Um, what I love about these is they have a lid. Um, so if you're making stuff, you can put um, material, your content in here and put it in the fridge overnight with a lid and not have to worry about it spilling out. I specifically use these all the time for making ice cream because when you make ice cream, you take the cream, the milk, the vanilla, and the sugar and you mix it up and then you want it to get it to temperature at 45 degrees. So you do that and you put this in the fridge, it gets to 45 degrees, then you take it out and you just pour it into your ice cream maker, which is, which is amazing. It's great, it's a great tool. And they're beautiful too, they're easy to see, not hard to read. Um, and they have a nice pour spout. So this is the this is the classic batter bowl, and this is the small batter bowl, which is going to hold about four. This one holds four cups. Yeah, half the amount. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to talk about this in a second. So hang on. Okay, so those are just a couple of measuring things. Another idea for measuring is we have these beautiful scoops. Um, we have them in small, medium, and large. And I have a small one. I meant to buy a medium one, so I'm kind of bummed to get the small one, but I'm going to use the small one for other things too, I'm sure, because um, they come in super handy for a lot of different things. For scooping out, um, for measuring, uh, the perfect scoop for a cookie, so all your cookies are consistent. Scoop it out, pop it out, scoop it out, pop it out, scoop it out, pop it out. Perfect for making your cookies for the holiday season. They come in small, medium, and large. And they are nice stainless steel. The spring just feels good. I mean, you just feel like you're using... You feel like a baker when you use this tool, you guys. Um, okay, another tool that's great for baking and more than baking is our new product called the Core. Now, what you can use this for, um, this is fantastic for your pineapples, your apples, your pears, any kind of fruit that you want to core out. But also, if you want to make a cake and you want to make a poke hole cake or something like that, you could um, poke it in here. And what it does is it grabs the material that you're that you're poking in and then it grabs it up. And I mean, sorry, it, you poke it in, it picks it up, and then you pick it out, and then you dump it in the trash, or you eat it, whatever you want to do. If it happens to be cake, you might not want to throw it in the trash. So there we go. So that's um, another good another good thing for um, kind of a measuring tool, I guess you could say. Um, okay, so let's go over another baking tool, some other baking tools I love. Um, this is our pastry blender. So when you're making your cookies or anything, you can use this to mix things up. So like when you're, um, for example, I have this cookie that I make um, that's on the Pampered Chef website, um, it, which is the maple um, butter um, sugar cookie. And it's a gorgeous cookie, but it also, but it has um, cinnamon in it. So it takes just basic cookie dough and cinnamon and mixes it together. And so to mix it together, you just, you know, mix it together like that, which is really great because you get everything really nicely blended. The pastry blender, something you, if you don't have one, 
I didn't have one before. I'm so glad I have one now. I can just see how it's going to be super useful in a lot of baking areas. Okay, so um, those were kind of the things I want to talk about measuring tools. So other measuring tools we have that I don't have yet, some of them are in order actually, is our new digital um, measuring um, scale. Um, it's a slim design. It's gorgeous. Um, it's stainless steel. It's like, you know, about this thin and it measures in all different ways, grams, ounces, pounds. Um, so that's really a good tool to have when you need to get the measurements right, uh, specifically like for your breads, guys. I know a lot of people are making breads these days, so that's going to be a really great tool for you. I'm going to take a sip of, water, sip of coffee. Um, let me see if anyone's on. I'm just going to look down. I have my iPad here so I can see if anybody joins. Okay, so... Now that we've talked about um, some of the measuring tools, I wanted to talk about some fun things um, for the holidays that you can use that will be helpful in your kitchen also, whether you're serving or making. Um, let me just tell you, our um, scrapers are, I've had a lot of different scrapers in my lifetime, you guys. Um, a lot of name brand scrapers um, and spatula, or scrapers, I guess you call these there's a difference between a scraper and a spatula. This is a scraper, by the way. These are fantastic because the design is such that it can move around in what you're trying to scrape out, but it also has, 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 so it has that flexibility, but it's firm enough to grab it. So you're just not wasting. You're not wasting that cookie dough. Your pot, you know, you're not wasting that cookie dough. Um, all those things that you're making, your cake batters. I mean, it's going to get it all out. Um, and this goes beyond the baking. Uh, our scrapers are just fantastic. They make a great gift. Tie them up in a bow and you're done. I mean, you give anybody a set of these scrapers and they start using them, they are going to love you. Um, so I would say, so I'd say the scrapers are just an awesome gift, uh, a gift, gift to get for yourself or gift to give, gift, gift, gift to give for anybody else. Um, okay, so I want to just make a note of our scrapers. Also, this little $10 scraper, if you guys know me, you know I talk about the $10 scraper all the time. This was my inspiration for Michael Simon to actually even, like, you know, want to cook again. And certainly it helped me get into this business because I found this on Paper Chef, Pamper Chef. And what I love about it is it's not only great for scraping on your prep mats. I don't have my prep mats out, but I use my prep mats all the time. But also, look at this counter, you guys. I can get all my crumbs off the counter. And let me tell you, with a toddler, there are crumbs all the time. So this just grabs them and moves them into the area I need them to. So your flowers, your salts, your organizing things like this, just getting stuff on, off the cutting mat and into the bowl. This is a perfect tool, $10. One of my favorite, one of my favorite Pamper Chef products. Okay, um, let's talk about tools. Since we're talking about tools, how about tools to serve? Our mini spatulas are great, and you know why these are great? So when you're going to get your cookies off that big cookie sheet and you have the spatula, which is a wonderful spatula, by the way, that is bigger, you could kind of run into another cookie or it could just be difficult to get, um, get the, um, get the um, cookie off. What I love about these is it's a nice small spatula. You can dig right under there to get it off if you need to. Um, like if you're making cookies in our stoneware, you won't need to do that. But and serve it up individually. So when you, um, especially this holiday season, when you are serving cookies out to other people, you don't want other people touching them. This is a great tool for that because you could just pick that cookie up and put it on your plate, and it's nice and small enough that it won't take up a lot of space in your serving area. So that's the mini uh, mini stainless steel spatula. I believe that's what it's called. Um, and then here we have, this is a fantastic product. It comes with a cover, and this is our cut and slice. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I use a knife and then I use the pie server, it's like two tools I have to use to cut my pies or, you know, my pies, my cakes, whatever, cookies, whatever it is I'm doing. Um, I've actually even used this on our, um, on the large pizza cookie that I've made before. So it has a nice serrated edge. It's a triangle form, so you get the perfect slice. Um, and it's just easy to serve and it nicely comes in a cover so you don't have to worry about it when you're done putting it for storage. Cut and slice. Okay, and I can't say enough good things about our ice cream scoop. I've had a lot of different ice cream scoops, and I've fallen for all the stories of, oh, if you heat it first, it's going to work better, or oh, um, you know, it's guaranteed for life, whatever. All the ice cream scoops I've had do not perform, it just outperforms all of them. And why? Because they, the design of it is so cool. It's got a point, it's got a, like a rounded point edge here, and then the bevel on the side, so you could... 
get in and dig in and get your ice cream uh, really easily. So the ice cream scoop is a super great one to have for the holidays because you know you're going to be having ice cream this holiday season with that cake and with that pie. So you want to get these. Um, and also it's got a nice, a nice good handle so you're not going to drop it. It's just a beautiful design. I just love good design, don't you guys? Okay, so those are kind of the three like kind of main serving like tools that um, I like that I really love. Um, let me just get a sip of coffee. <laughs> One of my sisters said to me, she goes, you talk a lot. I'm like, I do, um, because I have so much to talk about. It's funny, I woke up, I went to bed last night not knowing really what I was gonna do. I had a good idea, but then I woke up this morning with, oh my gosh, you know, and I do not, you guys, consider myself to be a baker. Baking is intimidating to me because of the big reason, if you know anything about me, I don't like to follow recipes and I don't like to measure. So I'm kind of getting over that with these tools because they're really showing me that you do need to measure certain things. Um, and then once you figure out the measuring, then you can go ahead and be creative. But you got to get the, you got to get the, um, you got to get the amounts down and get the right proportions down um, when you're doing baking. And these tools are really helping me with that. I'm really excited about that um, digital scale because I, I just I just think it's going to be a great tool to have in the kitchen because um, I definitely want to start making some breads. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I woke up this morning and I was like, what do I have to talk about? And then I was like, these are just some of the products that I've accumulated. And I say accumulated very nicely because what I've done is I've gotten rid of products that were inefficient in my kitchen and they've been replaced by these products, which is fantastic because I'm more efficient in my kitchen. I know what to grab um, to get the job done easier. Um, and, um, I feel like just, I'm just becoming better at a lot of things, like better at cooking, better at baking because I have the right tools, um, in my tool belt, which is my tool belt <laughs> to make things easier and to make things taste better. Um, so when I thought about this morning, I thought about how can I help people with baking, um, not being a baker. I think that's really a good point, right? Cause not all of us are, you know, Susie home baker. Do you like that? Instead of Susie home maker, Susie home baker. We are baking because we need to bake through the holidays because that's what we need to do as moms, as parents, as entertainers. You know, we need to have baked goods. And I don't know about you, but I know all, most people I know don't like to buy them at the store if we can avoid that because we don't know what the ingredients are going to be. So these are some tools that will make it easier for you to bake and make it a lot more fun for you to bake too because they're going to be easier to use, easier to clean. Um, they're not going to stick on you. And they're just going to perform consistently well. And that's the difference of um, what I like to say about investing in your kitchen versus surviving in your kitchen. I have a lot of survival products in my kitchen. I consider these to be investments in my kitchen because I spend a lot of time in my kitchen and especially during the holidays. Um, which brings me to, um, we were talking about sticking. Let's talk about cookies. So these aren't display racks, you guys. These are... Um, uh, stackable cooling racks, which is fantastic because they fold flat. You can't see that, but there's little, um, there's little um, feet here that fold flat and they stack onto each other or they'll fold flat onto each other, which is really great too. So that's um, a great tool for the holidays for getting your cookies off, um, you know, getting them off that cookie sheet and putting them on here so they actually cool. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you like how I used to do this. So I would take platters and plates and take my cookies off the cookie sheet and move them. It's just, it's just not efficient, like these stacks. So I would have plates all over, plus my chaotic um, situation with cookie dough and molds and everything. I mean, the kitchen was just a big nightmare. So I'm hoping this is gonna streamline some of that because I also feel like when you're baking and knowing that I'm a very kind of chaotic person when I cook and when I bake, um, I can get a little bit stressed out if there's too much going on. So anything I can, do to kind of streamline that really feels good um, good to me. So stackable cooling racks, these are fantastic. We also have baker's rack and the baker's rack pops into the cookie sheet, which is great too. We, um, I know for, I, I was looking on our stock today of everything we have available, almost every, I think everything I'm showing here right now to you today is available to purchase. Um, so we're good there. Um, stock on Pampered Chef, is shifting daily. It's real-time availability, guys. No different than Amazon, except for the Pamper Chef up until this point was going to take back orders. We're not doing that anymore. It's either available 
right now or it's not. That does not mean it's gone away and it's left. It means it's just not, not there right now if you can't find it. Make a note of it and let me know and I'll let you know when it comes back. Um, okay, so let's talk about another cool, um, two cool things. Um, we launched these limited edition um, cinnamons for the holidays and a vanilla. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten the vanilla vanilla yet. Um, but we have the Carinche cinnamon, which is a specific type of cinnamon. And then we have the Cinnamon Plus, which is, um, every time I go to do this, I'm like, I should wear my glasses when I do this, which has the Carinche cinnamon in it. And then it has nutmeg, allspice, orange peel, cloves, and ginger. I mean, could you ask for anything better to put in your baked goods, into your coffee, your hot cocoa, your French toast for the holidays? This alleviates all those different spices into one. Um, and it's just a fantastic taste and flavor. So that's the cinnamon plus. And then the Carinche cinnamon is just a whole other level of cinnamon, you guys. It's just really good. It's great flavor. Um, and like I said, the Carinche cinnamon is inside the cinnamon plus as one of the spices inside of it. So um, those are two new things. We also launched the um, Madagascar um, double um, bourbon um, vanilla. Um, and I don't have the vanilla yet um, right now, but the vanilla... Um, is um, a stronger vanilla. It's gonna last you a long time. You wanna use half to a fourth of amount of what you would normally use in regular regular vanilla. Excuse me. Um, coffee. Okay, so we talked about that. So let's talk about some um, pans that are really great. I want you to talk about two in particular. I'm gonna talk about our brownie pan set, I myself only have the um, the bite brownie, the brownie bite pan. And let me tell you why this is great, you guys, for the holidays. Okay, we all know we overindulge in the holidays. It just happens. And most of the reason we overindulge is we can't put, put, put that, you know, big piece of brownie down. We can't put, put bleh, we can't put that big apple pie slice down. So what this does, it, we just want to finish it, right? So what this does is this alleviates that problem because these are bite-sized snacks. I'm telling you, when you make these, you'll realize you only need to have two little brownie squares. Well, not really. You're going to want four. But um, you're going to take two probably because you're like, okay, I had two. That's enough. Um, and we also have a brownie, brownie pan, um, which is bigger squares. Um, and um, also is great, too, for not just baking, you guys, also for preparing little appetizers and bites like um in our brownie pan you could do like mini lasagnas you could do um you could do like little taco bites um and then these you could do egg bites i've done those before on a go live you could do brownies it's not just for brownies you could do like little apple um little apple pies there's so many things you could do um in these um in this my pan what's great about it is that once you spray it i mean literally you could pop stuff out of it that's my experience so far and i've actually taken this brownie pan and made um, egg bites and I've gone like this and you know and stuff has popped out so these are really great they come in a set or you could buy them individually I'd recommend getting a set if you think that you would use them that way I started out with just the brownie bite pan because um, I think I got it at my, my one of my first parties so yeah so that okay and I do want to talk about um, the numbers and cake pan I've seen Quite a few um, designs with this cake pan, Brothers and Numbers cake pan. It is a gorgeous color. <clears throat> it's a perfect gift. Excuse me. <coughs> it's a gorgeous color. And it is really a perfect gift um, for anyone who is a baker or not baker in your life. Because with it, you can make every letter of the alphabet and every number, um, 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 8 through 8. Um, really easily and it comes with an instruction guide on how to do it and it's super simple um, plus if you just want to make a regular cake and put it in here what a gorgeous pan to present it in so this is our um, our um, numbers and shapes uh, cake pan okay so uh, along with that I wanted to talk about um, our easy decorator okay so I've used this a couple of times um, and it's just, it is just so easy to use, guys. I mean, I don't know if you've used the pastry bag before or you get desperate and you get a Ziploc bag and you put your, um, your materials in there. <clears throat> this alleviates that problem because what you're going to do is you are going to, um, you 
You're gonna open it up on the top, put your contents in, and then you're just gonna put it to where the amount of the contents it are, screw it back on, and then you're just gonna go like this. And you're gonna get a perfect shape every time. This, between this and the cake and the um, letters and numbers cake pan, you're gonna look like you're like a, a cake decorator, a cake decorator. And if you're like me, um, and you love making cakes for people, like for the, for like their birthdays or holidays or whatever it is, this is gonna be your new, like your new secret weapon, your new best tool. So that is the easy decorator. Um, I've heard that it is back in stock, so that's super exciting. Um, and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds of tips, um, including one of those tips actually is a, uh, a filling tip. So if you were gonna fill something, you needed to fill it with some like Boston, you were making donuts, you wanted to fill it with Boston cream, there's your filler. And this one is just a flat one, which you could write with. So you could do everything you wanna do with this easy uh, decorator, which is super cool. Um, what a great uh, addition to your holiday um, baking materials. Okay, so I've got two more things to talk about, and then I'm gonna talk about um, something that I'm gonna do this year for the first time. Well, everything's the first time, right? Because I just started this business in June. Um, but first, let's talk about this product here. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't understand really how to use it at first, so I had to work out the kinks like once or twice. Um, because, well, as you guys already told you, I don't like to follow recipes and I don't like to measure and um, I don't like to read instructions. So I'm learning how to read instructions, really. <laughs> but this is our mixer, batter, mixer, batter, batter, mixer, and dispenser. And what is great about it is this is how you could get a lot of work done um, with your baking um, because it does two tasks for you. One is you put your contents and your materials in here and it mixes. I'm oh, sorry, you have to, uh, see, I just did it again. I always do this. You have to lock this lid on, push this down, lock this lid on, and then you put it in here, you put your contents in, and then you pop this down here, and then you lock the lid, and then you go. Great for cake batter, great for eggs, great for cookies that aren't too thick. You don't want to do anything that's really uh, too thick, probably like uh, then like to like a medium kind of um, texture would be great. This would be great for. And then when it's all mixed, you put this on and this is going to serve as your plunger and you're going to plunge it down. You're going to screw this on and plunge it down to wherever your um, contents are. So let's say it's about there. And then you're going to select, you're going to take this up. Well, you're going to select your size um, of size that you want to um, go ahead and use, whether it's a big scoop, a medium scoop, or a small scoop, similar to our, um, our scoopers, and screw it so it's locked in to that size. And then this is automatic, and you take this lid off, and it's automatically gonna dispense that amount for you into your pan. So imagine this tricky brownie pan, right? It's tiny. I go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Like for example, how easy is that? That is gonna save so much mess in your kitchen. Um, and then you wanna put it, uh, and then when you wanna put more contents in or make more, and then you just go ahead and do that all over again. But this is a fantastic addition, uh, addition to your kitchen for your holiday baking. I have like hiccups this morning. <clears throat> no, I really have hiccups. And then, um, oh, and then I want to talk about this because this is so cool. This is the little drizzler, chocolate drizzler. So when you're making your um, your holiday cookies and you want to get that extra little touch and you don't want to use the easy decorator to decorate, you just want to drizzle some chocolate. How awesome is that and how fun is that? I just think all these products are going to be so much fun with Adriana this holiday season. I can't, and it has a nice stand that you can stand it in when you're not in the between uses. So that is another fantastic. And I love how our um, baking series has a lot of this color. I just love having that extra color in the kitchen. Um, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna make some whipped cream and show you how easy it is to use our whipped cream maker. So for that, I'm just gonna use 
a cup. Where did I put my cream? I had cream on, I thought. Maybe I left it in the fridge. I did. I'm going to use, oh, I know what I did. I put it in the measuring cup already. Okay, so I'm going to, so I'm going to use my adjustable um, measuring, um, my measuring cup here, and I put a cup of whipped cream in here. You're going to see how easy this is, you guys. And then I'm going to do, a, uh, then I'm going to use my, uh, other adjustable measuring cup, and I'm going to do a tablespoon of powdered sugar in my adjustable measuring spoon. I'm going to level it out. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla. If I had the Madiscar, the vanilla, I would use it, but I don't, unfortunately, but you'll get the good idea there. And then... I'm going to use a little bit of my um, delicious Cinnamon Plus, just to give it a little extra pop of flavor. Just a little bit in there to taste, so it gives that extra flavor. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to lock it, and I'm just going to make some fresh whipped cream just like that, you guys. I'm going to pump it until it gets thicker. And this is going to alleviate the whole get the KitchenAid out. You guys, I love my KitchenAid, but it is a pain to get it out and use it, and it takes up a lot of counter space. So this is going to be my easy way to get some beautiful whipped cream to the table to serve with whatever it is that I'm serving. And you'll feel a little tension when it starts to get full and thickening. And there's my whipped cream, you guys. How beautiful and easy was that? Okay, and let's just give it a taste. Oh, and with that extra, oh my gosh, with that cinnamon, so, so, so good. Okay. I wanted to show you that because I think that's a really good um, quick tool that you can have for the holidays. Um, that, I mean, I just can't believe how easy it is to make whip, fresh whipping cream. And you saw how quick that was. That was super quick. I would have had to take my KitchenAid out. It would have took probably about 10 minutes to get the whipping cream to whip. And it would have just been this whole major other project that, frankly, I just don't have time for. So with that being said, since I have my whipping cream, I'm just going to um, let it harden in the fridge for a few minutes and talk about the next thing. And then I'm going to show you how the Easy Decorator works with that whipping cream, uh, just to give you a general idea on that. Mm. So one of the things I want to do for this holiday season is think about what could I do for um, to help the community out and um, get my family involved in a project. And so... Um, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of bring a special um, gift into the community that you could buy that would feel like it's a homemade touch that would be a pampered chef item and it would be something that someone could make without a lot of effort. And so um, <clears throat> this has been around for a little while and people have been doing this, but I've never done it. So I was really excited about it. I wanted to try it for myself. So this is the Celebration Cookie Mix. And what I'm going to do, and this is only in the Reno area, is offer to buy the offer to sell these locally um, for $25, and it's going to include the the small batter bowl with the lid, which you guys just saw is fantastic. It can be useful for so many things. Holds up to four um, cups of um, ingredients in here, and this is all four cups of the content. And it's going to have a layered celebration celebra celebration cookie um, recipe in it, tied up with a bow. And it's going to have a recipe card, and the recipe card on the back side will serve as a gift tag. Is that upside down? It'll say to and from, and then the front will be a recipe card. So that's going to be super exciting. Um, I'm going to offer those for um, $25, and I'm going to offer those through my Venmo. And I'm only going to do it through pre-order, because I'm going to go ahead and order these bowls from Pampered Chef and make these in my home. So now when I say make these in my home, let me show you what you're getting for that $25 for a gift. These are all the materials to make these cookies. Baking soda, cranberries, sugar, flour, pecans, baking powder, oats, chocolate chips, and brown sugar. Okay, guys? I'm gonna take all that away from you and prepare it for you 
like this so it's ready to give as a gift. Isn't that beautiful? These are called celebration cookies. <clears throat> and you saw the contents. So when you buy, when you give this as a gift, it's gonna come with the recipe card. It's gonna come with the gift tag, which is on the recipe card. It's gonna come with the bow. You're gonna give them that batter bowl with the lid and these cookie contents. And what's gonna be really great about it is it's only gonna take three ingredients of their own to complete these cookies. And that is butter, eggs, butter, eggs, and um, what's the last one? Vanilla, okay? Um, great idea. If you wanted to add the vanilla and you could buy the vanilla, we sell that vanilla that I told you about on my Pamper Chef's website. So um, that would be something else that you could do. You could package that up with the vanilla and say, here you go. This is because I love you. I wanted to prepare something that was just really showed more thought because um, I know a lot of us want to buy something special for the holidays. Let me tell you, if you give a teacher this, your landscaper this, your priest this, your pastor this, a nun, um, your hair tech, your hair, your, your hairstylist, your nail tech, the spa you love to go to, the grocery store you go to all the time, that cashier that's always there for you, any service provider that comes to your house um, that would enjoy something like this, they're going to get the gift of easy making cookies, with a beautiful batter bowl with a lid that they can use over and over again. So it's like a two-in-one gift, really, you guys. Um, and again, they're called Holiday Celebration Cookies. They have sugar in them, cranberries, more chocolate morsels, brown sugar, flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, old-fashioned oats, and pecans, um, as well, coarsely chopped. And all that is in here. It's all layered. It's all ready to go. You can pick it up for me at my house, or I could potentially deliver it to you depending on where you live. I'm only doing this for the Reno, Sparks, um, you know, Carson kind of area um, to just do an extra little easy thing that you can give your coaches, your teachers. I already did the whole list of all the people that you can give this to. They are going to love it because it's going to give them a beautiful gift, but also the gift of time will be taken from them because they won't have to buy all the ingredients to make cookies. They will have it all here. And they will just add eggs, vanilla, and butter, and boom, they'll be good. And this makes, by the way, you guys, three dozen cookies. So I wanted to share that with you today. Um, I'm going to get a pulse to see how many of these we're going to make. So I'm only doing it through pre-order because I will be ordering the batter bowls myself to make sure that they're here. And I'm thinking pickup will be the first to second week of December. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll get the, then we'll get those going. Um, of note, in my home where we'll be doing this, we will be wearing masks. We will be wearing gloves and we will be being safe. We want to make sure our hair will be up. We will have everything, you know, out of the way to make sure that this comes to you in the safest way. I will also say that if you wanted to do it in Ziploc baggies and you didn't want to have this presentation, we could do it that way also. So I'll ask you that when you order. Okay, once again, this is going to be $25. It's going to come with the bow. It's going to come with the recipe card and the gift tag. It's going to come with the batter bowl and the lid. All those ingredients I just showed you, and you can pick it up on my doorstep, and I'm going to take payment for that, pre-orders, via Venmo, JM Pelfini, and I'll put that up here um, after this go live. So I'm super excited about this because this is a great project um, for me to do. I'm taking a little bit of time off from having parties and, um, and Thanksgiving week, so I'll probably be making them then. Um, and I'm super excited about it because I just think it's going to make your life a little bit easier to get a really nice gift that someone's gonna like. Don't buy your teachers, don't buy those people candles. They don't want them. Something like this, they will definitely want and they will get to use it year after year because this batter bowl has this beautiful lid and they are just gonna love this batter bowl anyway. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, you guys, that's really um, what I wanted to talk about as far as that goes. Do you have any questions on the offer for this gift? Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that, I'm going to put that right here so you can see how beautiful that looks. I mean, it's just such a gorgeous presentation for a gift. Um, I love it. Um, and you could package it up if you wanted with um, a couple of things. You could package it up with um, this drizzler, chocolate drizzler. They could add chocolate onto it if you want to do an extra touch on top. Um, you could package it up with um, this little spatula. Perfect. You could add that to it. That would be awesome. You could package it up with a medium scoop. I have a small scoop, but this, for this cookie, you probably want to do a medium. A medium scoop, that would be another thing you could do. You could package it up with 
a scraper. I mean, there's just so many things that you could do to make this really easy. Um, and you also could probably use this. You probably could use the pastry blender with it too. These are all tools that they could use to make these cookies. Um, so even, even easier and more fun if you wanted to add on to this beautiful gift. But let me tell you, if you give someone this gift, they're going to love the gift for what it is. So don't stress about trying to get everybody everything. This alone is a beautiful gift itself, and they will understand the value of it when they make these cookies and then when they have that bowl forever, right? Okay, so let's get that whipped cream out, and we're going to put it into the easy decorator. I just wanted to chill it a little bit. I'm going to put it into the easy decorator, and I'm just going to kind of just show you um, how it can work. So, so here's the easy decorator. I'm just going to take this lid off and I've got my whipping cream here. I'm doing this with whipping cream, but obviously icing you would get a better, you know, kind of results. Uh, this is going to be thicker and this might be a little bit still too, um, too liquidy. Whoops. Uh oh, whipped cream everywhere. Um, I got to taste it. <laughs> Let me get a paper towel here. Oh my gosh, that whipped cream is so good, you guys, with that cinnamon plus in it. Definitely a good call for the holidays if you're adding to want to add a little extra pizzazz to anything that you're serving with cream, is add cinnamon plus to it, or cinnamon, or pumpkin pie spice, or whatever you have. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off, and I'm going to put it here, and I'm just going to fill it up. Yeah, this is really liquidy still. You probably want to leave your whipped cream in for a longer amount of time. Um, but this will give you an idea at least of how easy it how easy it is to use. Your icing will be a lot thicker. Um, I'm not going to get a good shape out of this, but you'll just get an idea of how easy it will be to use. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this um, lid on. And screw it on and then I'm just gonna push this down to, <laughs> to where the whipped cream is and I'm just gonna kind of go like make shapes like this obviously my shapes are really runny but you get an idea of how easy this is to use let me show you that I'll put this all in here for now so you can kind of see that, see you guys, how easy that is. I'm putting no effort into it. And look at this. Isn't that amazing? So imagine you have actual the right thing in here, some thicker consistency stuff. Um, and you can see how easy this is to use. I'm not using a bag. I'm not using, I'm not getting my hands dirty. I'm not getting frustrated. I don't want to cry. And I've got these beautiful little dollops just like that. So. How easy is that to use? I mean, products like these make me want to do more, make me want to be better in the kitchen. Um, because again, when I think about everything about the holidays, I think about not buying from the store. I mean, I buy things when I need to buy them, but I try to make as much as I can. It just makes me feel so good knowing that this whipped cream is just cream and vanilla and powdered sugar. It doesn't have all those processed chemicals in it that other foods do when you go buy your whipped cream at the store. And look how easy that was to do with the easy decorator. Make your own icing, ice your cakes, build your cake with your letters and numbers pan. Oh my gosh, you have a fantastic presentation for the holidays with very little um, effort to get there. So um, that being said, mm, oh love, I can't, I can't not help it. This whipped cream's so good. Um, so that being said, um, whipped cream maker, fantastic tool to have in your kitchen. Um, by the way, this is the, um, scoop and spread, which I usually use for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for my daughter, um, because you can scoop the peanut butter out and then you could cut it and spread it. This is also great for butters, um, because it'll do tiny little ribbons of butter when you pick it out. So not about you when you use your knife, um, and you get butter out, you get a big chunk and then it will melt on the toast. Well, this alleviates that problem because it's just going to kind of just create a ribbon effect with your butter when you um, when you go to cut it 
And then you have a nice thin slice that you can easily place um, onto your toast and um, get it to melt easier. So, um, yeah, so does anyone have any questions? I don't even know if anyone's here today, <laughs> but that's okay because I know you might watch later. These are just some of the holiday gift guides. So I have a party going on for the month of December called um, Jen's Holiday Jam. Um, so all my orders are gonna go towards that party. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about on my VIP group um, all kinds of holiday things starting in, in the next week, starting with holiday music I love to cook with, um, my favorite holiday dishes I like to make, um, this is going to be my first time making all these things with Pamper Chef products, so I'm su super excited about it. I'm definitely going to be making these cookies. I haven't made them yet, but I'm going to make them. Um, and I'm going to make them on stoneware because I actually haven't made cookies on stoneware yet, so I'm super excited about that. <clears throat> I'm thinking since I don't have the medium scoop, I'm going to use two small scoops and kind of mix them together. So um, I'm, very, um, I'm very much a survivalist in the kitchen. If I don't have something, I can find a workaround for it. So that's my plans within the next um, within the next month is just to kind of just talk about holidays, talk about how to make it easier for you on the holidays, talk about tools like this, um, listen to you and hear what you want to hear about. I know I talk a lot about my appliances in the kitchen. I love these appliances, you guys. My air fryer I use every single day. It has completely replaced my toaster oven air fryer. It was this hunky product that was taking up so much space in my kitchen and didn't do the job as well as this air fryer does it. Plus, our air fryer has the rotisserie function, it has the dehydrate function, <clears throat> it can roast, it can bake, it can reheat. It reheats pizza like you would never believe. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so there's that. Um, my blender is going to be a big use item. I've made fresh peanut butter with it. Um, oh, this is so funny, you guys. So this peanut butter is supposed to last four to six weeks. I made this peanut butter two weeks ago, and it is already gone. That's how much my family loves this peanut butter and all it was was peanuts and salt in the blender two minutes um that's the kind of efficiency i love having in my kitchen and then of course my quick cooker i mean i um did a go live um earlier this week and i made um and i made a chicken tortilla soup for the first time um and that was super easy it was under an hour to get that whole beautiful gorgeous tortilla soup flavor um that we still have in the refrigerator and we're still eating now so um, when I tend to think about the holidays and it getting cold outside, I think about things that I can make in advance and have around so that I'm not cooking every day. And these three appliances really help me with that because they not only make them, but like the, like, you know, I make pancakes for the week and I pop them in the air fryer for, you know, four minutes on air fry and it's like they're fresh pancakes. It's amazing. Um, you know, pizza that I make um, on a pizza stone reheated in the air fryer um, tastes like it's just that same um, first slice of pizza. The blender, making applesauce, smoothies, soups, um, sauces, all that stuff. You know, I made a marinara on there the other day in like a, less than 20 minutes in my blender. I literally just set it and forget it. And that's what I love about this because I actually can put an entire meal together with these appliances and tools in under an hour in most cases. And that's starting from frozen or starting from I walk in the kitchen and I have no idea what I'm going to make um, because I don't usually have a lot, a lot of big plans. Of, I'm not a meal planner. Um, so those are just some of the things that are just, they make great holiday gifts. I mean, I'm telling you, if you put any of these appliances under the tree, um, they're going to be loved products. Um, I know grandparents are looking for what should they buy their children and their grandchildren. These are great gifts. Um, also if you host a party with me in November or December, you're going to get any of those appliances at 60% off too. If you have a party that sells 650 you'll get two. If you have a party that sells $250, you'll get one at 60%. So, I mean, you can't even beat it if you were to go on the marketplace and buy these products yourself just for hosting a party. Um, and again, the appliances, um, you know, um, performance is superior. The aesthetics are superior. The safety features are superior. And they just get the job done really well. Um, so I've been pleased with all the appliances, and I will admit I wasn't up for changing any of my appliances. I've changed out my Instant Pot, I've got rid of my Vitamix blender, and I've got rid of my Cuisinart air fryer toaster to replace with these products. And I, the only difference I've seen is better in my kitchen. It's been better in my kitchen because of it. Um, had I known that, you know, I would have probably jumped on sooner, but I didn't know about Pamper Chef, and I didn't realize that Pamper Chef was still in the game. Pamper Chef is very much in the game. 
and we are always doing really cool things um, to make sure our guests are satisfied. Along those notes, um, some of the chip, shipping changes that we made in the past um, in the in the past month. Well, I guess two months now because it's now it's November. Um, we do direct ship now, which means you as a host don't have any shipments coming to your house except whatever you order. Your guests get all their shipments directly to their home. Shipping is a standard rate of $7.95 for, for orders under $149. And under over $150, you get shipping free. Um, we offer a gift when you buy, purchase um, products of $80 or more. Um, when you purchase your order is $80 or more. And for the month of November, we're giving um, the, the gift is our, the, are these beautiful teak spoons, um, which are just absolutely gorgeous for a free, um, for a free gift. No strings attached, just the way it works. Um, so between the, the shipping changes, um, the wonderful offers that we have, um, the real-time availability, um, I feel like we've come a long way since where we were in the summer where we had some difficult difficulty and challenges. And it, no different than any other company is having with, um, with what's happening in the situation with availability. Um, and now we have a lot of solutions for that so that you can get what you want. I'm sure more than 75% of our catalog is available. I was looking today. I can, I can verify that all these things I've shown you today are available for purchase. Um, a lot of our meal sets and our gift sets are now available again. Um, so we have that. You know, we have four specific meal um, gift sets for the holidays. The wine and cheese set um, is, avail is available. The pancake making set. Um, the pizza making set. Um, and then there was the um, the um, an amp, the um, baker, the one quart baker, uh, two quart baker um, set is available too with our new brand new enamel cast iron. Um, my sister's right, I do talk a lot. So um, anyway, there's so much to talk about. I get so excited. So um, those, and then we have our meal sets um, that some of them are available, some of them aren't, but the but those are great um, ideas for gifts too. So. Um, Okay, you guys. Well, I appreciate you spending the time with me this morning. I hope that um, I gave you some good holiday gift ideas. Um, a few more um, before we go that I can think of is any of these packaged together make great gifts, okay? So if you were going to do um, the whipped cream maker, um, you could do that um, with, <clears throat> with um, a mix and scrape. That would be great together. Um, you could take our... Um, what happened to our... Oh, that's right. My stainless steel whisk went away. I think my um, my family was cooking with it. Our stainless steel whisk is another great um, gift item. Fill that with some like some um, some peppermint candies. Tie it up with a bow. Um, put together a powdered sugar shaker and vanilla. So when you're making your French toast, your pancakes, you've got a great combination there. I mean, there's just so many things that you could package up one or two items for under $25 that you could make a really nice presentation for a gift, hostess gifts for the year round, holiday gifts when you go into someone's home, gifts for the people that you appreciate the most, including this wonderful offer locally for $25, which is gonna be the batter bowl with the lid with the wonderful recipe for the holiday celebration cookies that you pick up at my home or I can deliver for you depending on where you're located. I can do it stacked like this, or I can do it in Ziploc baggies for you and still give a beautiful presentation with a recipe and a gift um, tag card ready to go so you don't have to do anything with this gift. You can just show up and give it to whoever you're going to give it to. Okay, you guys, thanks for listening today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Text, message me, um, any questions that you have, call me at any time. I'm here to help you make your kitchen a little bit more joyful, especially experience because my mission is to bring joy to your kitchen and I hope that I brought a little bit more joy in your kitchen this morning giving you some good ideas and I wish you a wonderful holiday season. I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.